On July 8th, I went to do my voice channeling, and I was guided to play my drum for you, which is a frame drum, which I do shamanic journey. So in this video, you'll experience a guided shamanic drumming journey to the upper world where your guides and angels reside. Shamanic journey is a way that I found other worlds. It's almost like astral projection. So you're leaving your body and you're going traveling anywhere inside or outside the earth off the earth any planet you can go anywhere you want it's where i was shown a vortex of energy where i had many experiences through this and i was shown um, the same place many times i would be brought back to the same waterfall and the same area we actually found this place here on earth where i was shown so many different dimensions and different things manifested in my life which is a story that may be unbelievable to some people, but you just never know what's going to happen in these journeys. You can also take a trip to the middle world or the lower world or even inside the body to diagnose or to get information for healing purposes. I'm going to have to give you some information on it now. So if you're interested in doing this journey, it's a drumming meditation and you can do some setup for it or you can just... Um, get into it but you do want to put your protection on before you go every time when you do go into this meditation you're going to have a silver cord and you imagine that attached to you so when you go out traveling you can just pull on that cord to come right back in your body so what we're going to do is we call in our guides and then we call in the four directions and you can use sage, you can use crystals. I usually lie a blanket down, maybe a pillow, a blanket to cover my body. I also use four candles. I put them at the four directions, east, west, north, and south. Have something underneath them so you don't cause a fire. And then you can put some crystals around you and you're gonna cast like a circle around you where you're totally protected. I use a bandana to cover the eyes paper and pencil so you can write down what you see because when you come back from your journey you don't want to talk you want to write so you don't forget what you've seen so um as we're going you don't want to talk to anything on the sides of you while you're traveling up you're gonna ask three times if your guides are from the light in christ consciousness and if not you tell them to go so this way you know that who you're speaking to is from the light. If you see anything with teeth, you don't want to speak to it unless you feel guided to, but I wouldn't speak to anything the first few times with teeth, like an animal or creature or something like that. Not that they're going to harm you. It's just that it could be a little scary if you have something with your shadow side. So we're going to go to the upper world, so that'll be a little more comfortable for you for the first time. If you know your power animals, you can call them in. Some people may know them, some may not. If not, you may meet some along the way. You're gonna look for a black hole in the darkness. You're gonna be having your eyes covered with a bandana, so you're gonna look in the darkness and see a black hole, and you're gonna pop into it, and that's gonna take you through to the other dimension. You may spiral up, quickly until you get to your destination and just know you can pull on your etheric silver cord to come back anytime you want you don't want to have any cell phones on because any loud noises can make you come back into your body the wrong way which won't harm you it'll just make you feel uncomfortable so i also wanted to tell you that when you're in the journey the drumbeat's going to remain the same until the end and then it's going to get very fast and that's the time you come back into your body. I added my rain stick because my bird was making sounds in the background because I wasn't planning on recording a drumming session at that time. So hopefully you don't hear it too much. I wanted to use the original recording because it was channeled. So right now we're going to call in our directions. I have my daughter Lauren helping physically to call in the directions on the video. We're using a really small space today so you really don't need a lot of space to do this. If you want to follow along with your sage to call in the directions while we are doing it, we will be doing it on the screen and you can follow along or you can just lie down and be ready for the journey. And remember to cover your eyes. 
All right, so if you're ready, get into a comfortable position and we'll begin. So I wish you a great experience. We call in the power of the East, home of the rising sun, place of new beginnings, symbol of birth, breath of fresh air, the winged ones. We call in the power of the South, fire and warmth, passion and vitality, infinite growth, animals of prey. We call in the power of the West, power of consistency, setting sun, place of reflection, dream time, gratitude earth waters, swimming ones, dolphins. We call in the power of the North, mountains and minerals, transformation, cleanse and healed, grounded like the buffalo, plant eating creatures. We are now totally protected. We will call in our guides, dear God, Jesus, Archangels, Ariel, Mikael, Raphael, Gabriel, all our spirit guides and teachers, all those of the light and Christ consciousness who wish to join us in this shamanic journey, please will you come in. Now just know you're totally safe. You're gonna do some light breathing. Inhaling from the top of your head, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Bringing it back up to parted lips and blow out any unwanted energy visualizing it as black spots. Taking another deep breath, pulling in the air from the top of your head, rolling it all the way down to the bottom of your feet, bringing it back up to parted lips and blowing out any unwanted energy. And one more final deep breath, pulling it in from the top of your head, bringing it all the way down to the bottom of your feet, bringing it back up to parted lips and blowing out. Now continue to breathe at your own pace. As you begin to feel heavier and heavier, you some may feel lighter, just lying on your blanket, feeling totally safe, totally protected as we start to look into the darkness, into the black hole, and we go on our journey anywhere we wish in our etheric body. So now begin to feel your body relaxing, totally relaxing. Feel that relaxation come to the top of your head. Just feel your eyes relaxing. Just feel your facial muscles begin to relax and your neck and shoulders relaxing. Feeling your arms relax your upper arm, your elbow, your wrist and fingers, your hands, totally relaxing. Feel your chest relax, totally relaxing. Feel your stomach muscles relaxing, breathing comfortably. Feel your hips relax, totally relaxing, and your upper legs relaxing. Feel your knees relax, your calves, your shins, your ankles, totally relaxing. Feel your feet relax, your toes, totally relaxing. Just feel any residual unwanted energies flowing out of your fingertips and your toes as you become deeper and more relaxed, deeper and more relaxed. Now begin to look in the darkness. You may start seeing flashes of lights Just look into the darkness and try to find the hole. It's going to be like a little bright light. And just visualize your body there, etherically attached to your cord. And just begin to look for the hole and pop in there as we go on our journey. If you can't feel it, just imagine it and know that you'll go into the dimension through the hole when your time is right. 
and so begin to relax knowing you're totally safe and when you hear the drumbeat change to a faster drumbeat at the end then you know it's time to come back and you'll come back safely and then you'll begin to write on your paper everything you've seen and then when you're finished writing then you can begin to speak and if you're in a group of people you can use a talking stick and pass it around and the people can share their stories okay so let's begin our journey with the drum